G'day, we're here again for the Parliament Weekly Wrap-Up, here with Claire Scriven, uh, who's from the Upper House and I'm from the Lower House. Just letting you know a few of the things that have been happening here in the Parliament this week that we've been working on. Uh, in the Lower House, the House of Assembly, uh, we've been talking about some of the big economic challenges that our state is facing uh, and that the government is failing on. We've seen business confidence now hitting record lows under this government uh, and the latest unemployment stats and employment stats that came out show that there hasn't been one job created uh, over the past 12 months, which is particularly concerning for our economy. Uh, we've also seen some revelations come out in regard to the head of SA Health uh, having a directorship that he only resigned from uh, two and a half months uh, into his position and there's now uh, an investigation underway uh, into that matter as well. So some very serious issues uh, dealt with in the House and what about in the Legislative Council, Claire? Uh, well thanks to Chris, Chris Picton from the Lower House. Uh, in the Upper House we expected land tax to be the big issue and uh, there was only a small amount of debate. Uh, on Tuesday we called for a vote to be taken on the issue so that there could be certainty for South Australia going forward. Unfortunately the government didn't uh, allow that to happen and in fact on Thursday government business was ceased. We presume only to avoid a debate and a vote on the land tax legislation. The other big issue is the labour hire licensing laws. Now previously, uh, you might recall in the uh, previous government, we introduced laws that would protect workers who are under labour hire um, situations. And we called for and implemented legislation for labour hire companies to be licensed. Now the Liberals tried to get rid of that and couldn't. And since death, they've got this law, this bill which is about watering those down. Now previously the crossbench was with us to oppose these changes. Their language has now started to soften, which is a bit of a concern. Uh, we expect that to uh, go to further debate and uh, probably a vote in the next sitting week. So your parliamentary team here in both Houses of Parliament uh, will keep working hard. We've got two or three more weeks of sittings this year. and We'll keep working hard to hold this government accountable and to uh, push for better results for South Australia.